This video will show students how to navigate and become familiar with Google Classroom. First, make sure to be signed into your Mesa Public Schools student account. Then go to the Google Apps Launcher and click on Classroom. It will take you directly to your classes page in Google Classroom. This can be considered your homepage because all of your classes that you've joined or will join will be located right here. Remember to join a class, simply click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, click join class and enter the unique class code given by your teacher and then click join. There may be an instance where your teacher has invited you to join a class and you do not need to put in a class code, you will see right here on the bottom of that class, it says join and then you will just click that and you will automatically be joined or entered into that class for that particular teacher. This is your classroom's main page. There are three tabs across the top of the main page and the first one is the stream. The stream can be considered the social hub of Google Classroom, and this is where you can find announcements from your teacher, notifications, and if your teacher allows um, a space for discussion and posting links and files. And then also you can see your upcoming assignments on the stream. The second tab is the most important one, and that is classwork. Your teacher may have your classwork organized into topics, and you can see the topics listed on the left-hand side of this classwork page. Or you can just go over and scroll down to see your assignments listed this way. If your teacher has your assignments listed under topics, just click one of those topics, and then you can see the assignments that are for that specific topic. Let's dig in a bit more on that classwork page and look at some class materials, questions, and assignments that you may see here. Here we have an icon that looks a little bit like a bookmark. This indicates that your teacher has posted resource materials such as a syllabus, classroom rules, or topic related reading to the classwork page. If you see an icon that looks like a question mark, this means that your teacher has posed a question. Now this can be a short answer question or a multiple choice question. And uh, these questions can be to check for understanding or they can be a discussion board for your, you or your classmates, depending on what your teacher wants. Here, if you see the icon that looks like a clipboard, this indicates that this is an assignment or a quiz assignment with a Google form. This usually indicates that you are expected to submit something to your teacher. This is like an action item. And uh, let's go ahead and look at an assignment. We'll click here to open it up, and then you'll just see briefly what this assignment is about. If it has a due date, it will be posted here, but this one says no due date, but uh, I'm sure you might have a due date coming to you. So here we have um, brief directions and we can see that the teacher attached a Google Doc for you, a copy or a template of a Google Doc. But you want to click on view assignment because you want to see the assignment in its entirety and have all the information available to you. And this is where that information is about the assignment. Your teacher's directions will be here. And if you had um, a question to pose to the class about the assignment, you could put that right here and post it. On the right side of the page, you will see the section called your work. For this assignment, the teacher included a Google Doc template for the student, and it is a copy of a template that the student can open up and um, go ahead and type in and complete the work and then submit. Um, there are instances where teachers do not do that and they want you to add or create something to attach to this assignment. So that's where you'd click here and you could add something directly from your Google, Google Drive to attach to um, the assignment. You could attach a link, a file, or you can create a brand new Google Doc slideshow or sheet drawing, etc. 
if you have um, any questions and private comments about this assignment before you turn it in, you can pose that here and then post it and your teacher only will see that comment. Let's talk about turning in your work. If your teacher provided a copy of a Google Doc for you, you would click on it just like this, complete the work, make sure you go over your work, and then when ready, click turn in. Google Classroom is going to ask, are you sure you want to turn in your work? And this is what you are turning in right here. And if that is correct, you click turn in. And now your work has been submitted. If you would like to make a change to the assignment that you just submitted, you can click here on unsubmit. And it will ask you again, are you sure you want to unsubmit? You could go back into the document and make a change. And then again, you'll need to click here and uh, turn it in and submit it once again. If you have any questions about your assignment, you could always add them here and post it. And this would be a private conversation between you and your teacher only. Okay, so you submitted your assignment and now you are waiting for your teacher to return it to you. Um, how can you find out if your teacher did that? Go to classwork, view your work. Over here on the left, go to where it says returned with grade. And here you will see your assignment and then it will give you your grade for that assignment. If you click on it, you can see that your teacher has left a comment. Nice job, Lauren. You can click view details and open it up and then reply. and post that and you're done. And for the last tab in classroom, which is people, here you will see who's connected with your classroom, both teachers and students. Now this is a demo account, so I only see my teacher, but um, I will have students in the future that are connected to this class and they would be listed here. I just wanna say thank you for watching this video tutorial and I hope this helps you understand how Google Classroom works for students. But please keep in mind that assignments will vary by teacher, grade level, and content area. Good luck and bye for now.